Hi everyone, I'm bringing you a very exciting exclusive for me, for everyone, because we're doing an incredible stable tour at a castle. We're in Bavaria, at Gestut Schloss Amerang. We're gonna be um, visiting the Baroness, Julia. She's super lovely. And the great twist about this stable is that not only is it incredible, but it is also a Pierre stud. So let's go check it out and see what it's all about. Hi, Julia. How are Hello. you? Hello. I'm very fine. Thank you so much for you having us. You brought the sun with you. <laughs> I know, but this place is incredible. I mean, just look around. It's it's insane. Uh, we were come, we were driving up, and firstly, we were like, okay, it's much warmer than the Netherlands here, which is lovely. It's, yeah, it's south. And it's so <laughs> picturesque. Like, mm. the valleys here, the forests around, it's incredible. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, for a little bit of background, I've been following your page and what mm. you do for a couple of years, and I was thinking I cannot wait to come out and kind of be able to share with everybody else um, but for people who don't know what is this uh, place and where are we and what's the story behind it well the story behind is um, my my family has been breeding horses since uh, about nearly 200 years incredible and yeah I, I try to continue this I do I try to do everything on my own that's why I keep it on this size and um, the castle and the ground is owned by our family um, yeah nearly a thousand years incredible so Absolutely. we are here since 10 years more or less and the castle is just 600 meters beside. so before you were actually living and the horses and everything was at the castle yes and for 10 years this has all been built and you yeah. have now the privacy of operating and having the horses a little bit yes. further away yes. incredible okay so <laughs> like if we start this table stable tour now yes where would you take us to first um, we can start very gentle and we start with the ladies. Okay, Is nice. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, usually people always take you to the big stallion. No, barn, we but go to the ladies. I like that. They are the basement of everything. Okay, very true. <laughs> yes. Very true. Okay, I'll follow your lead then. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh my God. It is absolutely insane. I love, I've never actually seen this mixture before of like the wood with the kind of how would you call it? It's like stone or like cement? Kind it is, of. yes, it's, it's yeah. handmade. Yeah, it's, uh, we did it all like this because it's much, uh, it's, it resists more. Yeah, yeah, and it almost gives like the feeling in Spain when you go to some of the stables, they also have a bit of it's, this concrete feeling yeah, as well. Yeah. Hi! Oh, you're very sweet. Yeah. You have a good home, Thank don't you? you? Wow, it's incredible here. And the size also of the breezeway and the horses can see each other also between the stables. Yes, I open. love that. Yes. Oh. And also the small touches, even it's, like putting the rugs in the middle, it makes it feel like more warm and homely. Warmer, yeah. Because it's big, but it's like very cozy still. So. What is very nice is the wood because it, it's living. It's always nice. You, and uh, we, we did the thing, we isolated everything. Mm -hmm. So it's very cool in the summer. Yeah. And it keeps the warm in the winter. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, it, it must, you must get some snow here as well. A lot. Like, yeah. A lot. So you kind of, and for these PREs, they don't love the cold that much. So, <laughs> especially when they first come. <laughs> Yeah, hi. So this is, so we're in the mayor's stable, so this is a mare This right is now. a mare, yeah, and, and it's uh, good luck that she came in because our horses are allowed to choose. Oh, okay. So they can go inside, outside, whenever they want. Oh my God, amazing. And with this Dream. wonderful day, they, I think, decided to stay outside. Yeah. So all the mares are now currently out. They are currently out. Yes, they are very pregnant. And I think they need some sun on their backs. <laughs> yeah, of course. Absolutely. And that's actually something that's so nice to see. I mean, you guys know at home, we always have the horses out. Like they come in sometimes 11 p.m. just at night. Um, and it's nice going to people's places where yeah. they also do that, where they let horses be horses. Yes, That's really important. Yeah. Well, I'm dying to see more. Can you talk me yeah, through a little bit like what the design idea behind it was because it's so unique. So how did you come up with the kind of concept? It's been a little bit funny. Um, I, I designed everything okay. myself and Amazing. we had a little uh, problem two weeks before we started mm -hmm. that the man who did the coordination, he said, no, it's too much for me. I oh, always really? do private little houses, that's too much for me. Oh God. And so I was standing there and um, I said, okay, I'm going to fight this through. Yeah. Yeah. 
and we did. And okay. so and you were able to stay with the same man to build everything or I had many companies and I did it myself. We had Oh, you did um, everything yourself? I did everything myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh my god, that's very impressive. Mm -hmm. And we got two Incredible. very nice sweet men which are working with us um, since they are 16 years. Wow. And one of them is 72 now. Oh my God, And incredible. they did all this. They did the doors, they did the, the walls. So let's say it's all handmade Yes, here. it is. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Wow, I never would have thought that. That's <laughs> incredible. So the stables here are quite big. Um, so how, what is the size of the stables in, in the mayor's stable um, now? The boxes do have four to six meters. Okay, four by six. Yes. Okay, yeah. wow. Okay, so they're very big. Yeah, here we do have the, our... Uh, ultrasound things where we do the inseminations and all this, we do everything here. Okay. We don't send the mare somewhere. Oh, perfect. So they're always comfortable, always. they know their environment. The baby can stand by side, the mummy. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, true. So yeah. then there's no <laughs> separation. And yeah. what is in that little house in here on the inside? A bed. Oh, a bed. And it's ground heated. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. And, and so. Oh, so this is so when the mares are folding and stuff, there's someone that can stay close by? Or? Me. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> you do everything. And, and the thing is with this house, uh, I built it for a very sad uh, um, reason. Um, I lost a mummy of my, my founder mare mm -hmm. by a very b big stupid mistake of a veterinary. And uh, yes, I had this foal and I had to milk feed it. And then I say, okay, I can walk every hour in pyjama to my house yeah. or I sleep there. So I yeah. decided to stay here. <laughs> After a couple of nights, the decision was yes. clear. <laughs> I can imagine. Okay, and this next bit, is this where you get your horses ready for yeah. riding? Or I, I see a little tack-up area, it's I think. A, tack it, room and tack-up tack tack area. Now, exactly. And wow. um, yeah, what, what I um, wanted as I built the stable was um, because we got often also not even only in Netherlands, very mm -hmm. bad weather. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's, true. that's <laughs> true. So I do have hay and uh, the beddings all inside each stable. Oh, nice. So Amazing. nobody has to go outside and search the it's things. It's all under the one roof. Yeah, we okay. got four stables and in each stable we do have all this. Oh, incredible. So the, and I'm looking around also at yeah. all the beautiful like wooden Wood. details that are yeah. across here. And that again brings in that feeling of warmth it's, and that personal touch, yeah. which is yeah. yours, which is amazing. It looks it's, incredible. And so is it possible to have a look? Yeah, is this the please, tack room? Yeah, that's uh, the tack room. Yeah. Okay, I, I always have to yeah. spy on people's yes, tack room because it's the most exciting please, bit. after you. Oh my God, look at this. It's so beautiful and tasteful and cozy. So this is where you have all your kind of uh, tack for the horses, yes. like your saddles, your bridles. Yes. And then here are some amazing memories, I'm sure. Some memories, yes. <laughs> And then, How time is flying. I yeah. like that. And then these were also custom made, the, the tack lockers. Also my two very, very dear men did wow. this. Wow, yeah. they're very talented. Yeah. Is it possible to see inside one? If, if you want, it's a pharmacy. Yes, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the pharmacy. This is the pharmacy, yeah. <laughs> very well organized, very nice. <laughs> Everything really looks brand new still. It looks really yeah. brand new. And so for people who don't realize, they have a stable, they have a sand yard, and then the sand yard is open to the whole grass field. So it's their choice exactly where they want, yes. when they want, yeah. how they want. They can go now one kilometer if they want. Oh my God. It's so incredible. It's like it's, heaven. And we were also discussing <laughs> when PREs come from Spain, it's pretty difficult living conditions sometimes, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, so when they come here, it must be like they're in heaven. I mean, yeah. it must be just Hope incredible. So. <laughs> yeah, for any horse, really. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so we're off to the next building. And this is the, you're saying the stallion stable. Wow, big doors. And now we're in with the boys. Here are the boys. <laughs> Hello. Hello. May I introduce you uh, to very important people? Yes, which... absolutely. <laughs> uh, so we start with a lady. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> which is my very good friend. It's Kati, Katarina. Hi, Matt, nice to meet you. <laughs> Saving my life many times. <laughs> okay, we yeah. like friends like that. <laughs> yeah. And my husband also saving me from time to time. Matt, nice to meet you. Very yes. nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. <laughs> so this so, is your team then? This is my team, yeah. And, and so, but this is everybody that makes the whole thing run? Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. Wow. Okay, so you're all pretty hands-on on the operation then. Yes. Okay, very we nice. Are. 
And these boys are also very special. This is my oldest horse. He's, uh, yes, my, I got him since he's three, now he's 24. Wow. And this boy here is um, bred by us in the third uh, generation. Wow. I have to come and say hi quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> How tall is he? 169. 169. Yes. You're a big boy then as well, huh? He's and so in the, in, the, um, in the downtime for the stallions when they're not breeding, are, they, are you training them and yes. riding them? Dressage, classical dressage. dressage, yes. Nine. And is there a certain type of training you like to do with them or a certain level that you are kind of aspiring with not your horses? Not competing level. We okay. are doing old classical dressage and uh, we want to also to hack them out a lot. Oh, nice. They, yeah. I think all the horses have to be for the whole family. Yeah. Handling and and ridden and very soft dressage with fine aids and yeah the dream yeah. Yeah. hey big man mm -hmm. very sweet wow so we're now in the kind of last stable block that you have exactly it's a yes. bit of a different theme which is beautiful i think and it flows still really nicely with the others but it mm. is different here it feels i think the green makes it smaller mm. and kind of more calming like what you were saying before um, but what is the purpose then of, of this stable block here? This is, uh, these three boxes are here just for horses which are for sale. Okay. And for training. And is this, I'm just looking and seeing it now, is this the floor that you were mentioning it before? It is, yes, yes. You can, you can try it yourself if you want to. So, <laughs> if we go over it again, it's like cushion? Uh, yes, it's uh, in a foam, a visco oh, foam it's called. And then it's rubber, completely closed. Oh my god, it is literally like walking on a mattress. It's, uh, but it's not unstable, like it's not like you're... No, it's just very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> wow. But it's amazing. This is literally like sleeping on a mattress for a horse though. Yes, I can yes. imagine they lay down and they're knocked out. <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. Wow. And it's isolated. If we can, you know, you see our boxes are always uh, out open. Yeah. And so they get the outside temperature in the winter also by night. Uh -huh. So yeah, it can yeah. be t under 10 degrees inside here. So they never uh, uh, lie on a very cold floor. Yeah. Always isolated and warm wow. from down. Yeah. Perfect. That's so, amazing. That's okay, and so the stable we're standing in now, what kind of ser what kind of purpose does it serve amongst the whole facility? I think it's the most quiet uh, stable, which is always outside. So okay. the horses always are 24 hours more or less outside. Yeah, just because I can room. see they've got a sand yes. field and then it's straight out onto the grass. Exactly. Yeah. And we have a nice indoor here to prepare them. Uh, but it's, yes, it's just an, a very relaxing stable and where you can also put in one box two youngsters. Okay, very nice. And then we kind of are seeing that detail yeah. again here. And it's That's so beautiful with, this, with these photos and the <laughs> fabric and the lights. And again, it makes it a bit warmer and cozier. Yeah. Even though the space is actually quite open and yeah. relaxed, it's still sophisticated and it's, warm and cozy. I like that. It flows really nicely with everything else. The funny thing is, this is the warmest stable we have. Oh, really? Everybody no said, way. oh no, the horse is going to be frozen in yeah, the winter. because it's but all open No, here. they are not. It, it's the warmest place we have. Wow. We Why do, do you have think? the hay behind here, uh -huh. and it's only open to east. Yeah. And somehow the warm keeps inside. I would have the never guessed horses that. horses got fresh air, but it's the warmest place we have. Wow. So this is the arena. I'm speechless. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's absolutely <laughs> beautiful. It's insane. Yeah. And it, what are the measurements of the arena? Is it 60-20? No, it's 20-40. 20-40? It oh my God. It looks bigger. so much bigger. <laughs> no. This is like the arena we have at home in the stables, but this looks huge. This is crazy. It's because of the glass. If you get bored by riding, you can enjoy the, the surroundings. Views. I don't know what view is better. <laughs> the mountain or your own other stable on this side. It's just incredible. And I love that you took the time of putting these two artworks at the back. Yeah, it's just it's Motivation. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more motivating than seeing yourself in a mirror. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's so light and airy in here. 
Um, I think also people don't really understand me. The size of the ceilings is so high. Do you have any plans for the future for more things you'd like to do or plans for the property or anything like that? I want to develop and continue my breeding. And yeah, um, of yes, maybe one day I find someone to help me with all this and I can do another competition again. Yeah, so that was be very fun. nice. And yeah, simply want to develop this generation of horses. But you're passionate about the PREs and you're going to stay on that track. I will. Yes, definitely. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Well, thank you so much for showing all of us around and allowing us to come into thank your you. private life nice. in this very special stables. Nice to it's meet you. It's been an absolute treat. Um, I only just wish that everybody could be here to feel just how amazing it is. Like the energy, the, like the nature and everything here, it's, it's something mm. different. So you're very lucky also to, to be in this special place. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, this is definitely some major inspiration for me and maybe what's to come in the future with us building our own stable. Uh, I want to thank you again, Julia, so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>